assignment day so it's time to organize everything in my trunk because it's a mess. Tell you about being a reseller when you come by yourself you have like 20 bags to carry so yeah we'll see how that goes. What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a full WhatNot tutorial for 2024. My name is Chris, I sell on WhatNot right now. I've sold over a million items on the platform and today we're gonna to take Les, who's a brand new person, never sold on the platform before. She already made an account for this, but she hasn't sold any items yet. We're gonna create a show for her, a thumbnail. We're gonna talk about expectations, what to expect from your show. We're gonna talk about what to sell. Everything we're gonna go over today. We're gonna to walk over right now to the first section, which is finding items to sell now the question always comes to mind of what should i sell on whatnot they're known for collectibles like funko pops sports cards trading cards pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you can also sell estate sale finds. I think that's probably the best category to get into. Estate sales, antiques, it's blowing up on whatnot. They're about to add a new feature called local pickup where you can select which item is available for local pickup and that'll change the game. Right now they do have local pickup but it's only for all items or no items. So when that comes soon, the estate sale category, heavy item category will be massive. And I know the CEO really wants to sell cars. Wow. Les is gonna sell clothing. We are going through this experiment right now where I teach her her how to make a full-time living reselling. Our goal is $200 a day profit, $70,000 a year. We've picked clothing, we've picked thrifting and the Goodwill outlet as the supplier. So for whatnot, I recommend you stage all of your items um, so that you can easily show them when the auction starts. It's just like a video. You show people the item, all the quirks and features. I recommend 10 things about each item. So I'm gonna coach Les to do like mm -hmm. brand, color, size, shape, features, material, is it cute? How would you style it? 10 different things about it. I think like for everything that you say that's cool about it, you get about $1 more. So if you really know your stuff, you can always charge more. People love buying from experts or enthusiasts. I'm gonna have less start at a number that she's comfortable with. You do not need to do dollar starts. Let's get that out of the way. I do dollar starts, but I buy on a volume basis and I'm looking for more sales. So that's why I do dollar starts. If you're a small seller, you don't need a lot of sales to make a good living. If she sells 10 pieces during a show, I would consider that a success because if you sell online, you might be waiting three, six, nine months for it to sell. A whatnot show, today we're gonna do her first show. It's only about two hours. So in my opinion, the expectation should be just if she sells one item, that's a success. As long as she ships it to the customer properly, yeah. that's where everybody starts. I started that way. So to get started, you need a username. So this video is actually going to come out after Les's first stream. So I'm going to ask her, why did you pick your username for the platform? And then how did you sign up? Yeah, so I picked my username because my TikTok name was already all things less. Um, I picked that username because I wanted to make my TikTok a little bit more lifestyle content. And then it just popped into my head, all things less. Oh, and I signed up for whatnot because Chris emailed me a referral code. And from there, they ask you to put in your TikTok, your Instagram, it's optional. 
from there it took me about two days for them to send me an application that links you to a tutorial video on how to get started on whatnot and you can't start streaming until you watch that video and after i watched that video i think the next day um they it was like automated that i already watched the video and so they let me start streaming so i think the process took about four days for my whatnot to be completely set up so shameless plug, I have a link to get you signed up on whatnot. It should be faster if you use my link. I think it's automated. Um, you do not need social media to be successful on whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if you have those handles set aside, I think it helps the bot auto approve you. So as long as you have social media handles, doesn't matter how many followers you have. I put in there for her, I recommend she put like $5,000 a month in sales. Yeah. It helps a lot to show that you have some traction. But again, it's not necessary. You could put zero. I think that really what they're looking for is people who have experience selling things so if you yeah. put in there you've never sold anything no social media you're reducing your chances of actually getting approved mm -hmm. so I just recommend getting a TikTok, Instagram YouTube whatever linking it all up before you apply to give yourself the greatest chance it really was pretty much an instant approval for me I also used somebody's referral code to get onto the platform so it's very very normal this first stream that we do I'm probably gonna pop on during it but no one's gonna know that I'm doing a stream with her but yeah. I think a lot of people forget when I started my YouTube channel, I got onto 10 or 20 other resellers channels. Yeah. That's how I grew my channel. It's called like clout hacking, where you like find somebody's, you write on their coattails to success. I, I did that in the beginning. There's no reason why you shouldn't do that or poo poo that. I don't know why people are like anti associating yourself with somebody else when you're getting started. It's a lot easier when someone who's already successful you're following, all the people that I learned reselling from, I looked up to when I first started, it's the same thing. And yeah. is, in this entire time I've been doing this, I've probably been on a hundred different people's streams. Mm -hmm. So it makes a lot of sense to collaborate with different sellers. The community part of Whatnot is real because there's only around, from looking at the app, like under 20,000 people use Whatnot. Yes. It's a really small app, yeah. so not a lot of people know about it. That's why this video is not going to rank very well because nobody searches for Whatnot. <laughs> Everybody's looking for eBay, Depop, yeah. Mercari, Amazon, those big sites. Whatnot is yeah. still this underground player. I'm hoping I can make it a little bit more popular mm -hmm. so people can go shop on there. The main draw is that you can sell your items immediately. You can go to the Goodwill this morning, a garage sale in the morning, do the stream in the afternoon, finish your shipping and drop it off literally the same day you can make money in one day on whatnot and you can't do that anymore on ebay poshmark mercari all right guys so just like on ebay mercari poshmark everything the first thing you need to do is think of a title and a thumbnail so i'm gonna actually take a picture of less in front of these clothing this clothing i'm hoping that she so all she needs is the smile have the clothing the thumbnail is perfect it's just her in front of the item it should be taken in portrait mode so essentially we're trying to figure out why people would click on it and mm -hmm. this is perfect clothes less yes. the title is gonna be something like first show mm -hmm. uh, amazing deals something that would actually get draw the customer in right. you could also get like an all-over piece like this because this is this is a fire piece right so it has a little stain though has a little stain on it but you could do something like this thumbnail and people be like oh i want that shirt and they would yeah. click to go into the show so that is something you can do for thumbnail design it's super important in my opinion for you to be in it i think that the way to differentiate yourself is you and a lot of the top streamers really just reuse this picture over and over and yeah. over again it could just be less's face and people know it's less's show and they hop in mm -hmm. i think you should double down though less and the product so now we're going to go over making the show okay so what we're going to do is click this plus button on the bottom for sell schedule a show now we're going to call this show oh it's, it's actually already put in there my first show mm -hmm. so change it to less's first show amazing deals like semicolon or just like amazing deals amazing deals that's good like that. so the category is going to be women's contemporary and you would select the category that makes sense for you Women's contemporary is in women's, women's fashion. fashion. Contemporary. Then scroll down. And um, so the media, we just took the picture. So click mm -hmm. on this media right here and upload the photo that you just took. Let's do that one. Oh, that's good. Cute. Perfect. So then she actually recentered it a little bit to make it better. So click on shipping settings. We're going to go to domestic shipments. Click on that one. Mm -hmm. This one we're going to do priority mail. This is perfect. So the, the default settings are priority mail for under five pounds, ground advantage over five pounds. You want to keep that, click save. Click 
Okay. Then um, shipping costs. S buyer pays all shipping costs. We're going to save it. That means buyers pay for all shipping. Now we're going to click on additional settings. Perfect. Now, here's the part that people are going to get scared of. She's going to click repeat, does not repeat. And she's going to repeat weekly mm -hmm. at the same time for 10 weeks. So I'm a big fan of scheduling something and doing it over and over and over again. So she's going to do the same show 10 weeks in a row and she's not going to worry about what happens. A lot of people give up on whatnot way too mm -hmm. soon. And then scroll back up to the top. Did it have the date? Oh yeah, so we're going to click on the date. We're going to schedule it for 3 o'clock. And uh, scroll all the way to the bottom again. That's it. So you, you're not going to be ex explicit would mean like you swear or drink beer or smoke pot on stream. You can do that <laughs> or whatnot. Um, so go ahead and schedule it. Oh my God, we did it. So now we have on screen um, Les's show it's scheduled for the next 10 weeks and I put it at 3 p.m. but I'm hoping she can actually start the show a little bit earlier but it's nice because you can start the show earlier but you can't start the show later mm -hmm. so you want to make sure that um, you have the show like a little bit later than when you can actually start also one thing on here if you it does actually go past the time it'll delete the show but if you're within two hours of the show ending you can hop on a computer and restart it but you can't restart it from a mobile device. So go ahead and click on this store icon on the bottom right. On the bottom right, it's going to say add inventory. It's like a little yellow plus button. You're going to click on that. A quick add a product. Now we're going to put, uh, so there's a little tutorial and whatnot. We can just scroll through this and we're going to put, so we're going to take a photo. So click on that, click take photo and take a picture of your rack. We're going to name that this. That was the cover. Do I do an additional? Nope. That's okay. it. Just cover. So now. Add photos. Yep. Now you want to, the title of this is going to be Les's Awesome Finds. The category is going to be Women's Contemporary. Right. And after you select it once, it should save it. Now scroll to the bottom. Um, is there any more? Oh, description. I'm going to put awesome things I thrifted that I think are cute. That are super cute. That are super cute. Fire emoji. <laughs> so yeah, you want people to actually click and pay attention. So she says it's fire. Well, see if we're just going to trust your recommendation. Click next. So now we're going to use a shipping profile, 15 ounces, 12 to 15 ounces, which is the average weight of a clothing item is a little under one pound. We're going to do quantity of 200 and now click publish. publish. Okay, so now um, you're gonna uh, click buy now and then go back to auction. This will confirm, why does it have this? Interesting. Maybe I exit? Exit and then go, go back, back in. Then what happened to it? Let's see. It's so interesting. Um, so want 100, create three listings. Um, okay, so Whatnot actually has a promotion right now that they're gonna allow you to, if you list three items in the buy now, they'll give you free promotional credit. Um, we don't need to do that right now. We're actually gonna exit this show and go back into it. Sometimes Whatnot is glitchy, so I'm glad it's doing this. We're gonna click on the show for today and actually try to see if we can get, um, wow, it's gone. So I'll actually have you redo it Okay. Um, and see if you can remember how to do it. Oh, or, uh, quick add. Quick add. Okay. okay. Lessons. The reason why I want you to put Lessons Awesome Finds is so that um, they have to listen to you talk about the item. Yeah. And that's something that I'm okay with. If you wanted a higher dollar amount in theory, you could pre-enter all of these items. I think it's hard in the beginning for people to... Um, listen to your stream, yeah. but you can preload every single item and then tell people, please look at the store and see what items I have and see if anything interests you. Mm. Oh, wait, did, this was a quick add item. I think a quick add item might be better. Let's try to add, add a listing and see if it'll add. Do I click auction? Okay, there it is. So we are, I usually click this pin button and then now exit out of this. And now the item is pinned. 
So it says lots, less is awesome finds it below. Mm -hmm. So now when you click start show, it'll actually start the show. And when you click on the item, it'll ask you, do you want to run this item? Mm -hmm. And this is actually perfect for strategy because it'll ask you how long do you want your auction to be? Yeah. 10, 15, 20 seconds. I recommend 20 seconds, no sudden death. Okay. And then if it starts getting, mm -hmm. you get some traction, people like it, and then I might do sudden death, which is faster, but requires you to be excited. So mm. part of what not is you, the other part is the product. Okay. So if you're going to do sudden debt, that means that people don't have a long time to make a decision. Yeah. My, my uncle calls what not the business of bad decisions because <laughs> you only have 20 seconds to make a decision. He's like, what good decision can you make in 20 seconds? Yeah. At that point it ends up being entertainment. Yeah. So we're going to go over running your first show in a different video, um, how it went. But in this video, we're completely set up to start. Yeah. When this timer turns on, you're going to, actually we can talk about equipment for just a moment. Right here we'll have an iPad pointing towards you. You can use your phone, iPad, you can use a computer. Okay. Before you start, make sure you have all your items ready mm -hmm. and you have a way to number. So in my system, there is a cubby system with numbers, Yeah. but you can just label these one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, and the auctions are gonna go in order. So if you show this item and it doesn't sell and you put it back, and you show this item and it does sell, you yeah. put a number one on this one, and maybe all of these items don't sell. Mm -hmm. This item sells, mm -hmm. you put number two on it. Oh. And then later you can remember because auction one will be this, auction two, you'll yeah. number all the ones that do sell. Oh, okay. Everything else is in the same. So what people end up doing is they'll run the show over and over again, yeah. different days, different times, mm -hmm. until all their items are sold. Okay. So that's one way to do it. Another way to get traction is to do lower dollar starts. Yeah. One dollar for everything. You'll probably sell a bunch of it. Mm -hmm. um, all you need on whatnot is two people who are trying to win the item for you yeah. to get a decent price. Yeah. It's going to be slow in the beginning because no one knows you. Mm -hmm. And you'll see when you do this first show, and we report back in a week. There might only be two people in it, yeah. which makes it hard. But you really got to try and be like, hey, Eddie, one, two, five. Thank you so much in the show. Is there something I can get you so I can get my yeah. show started off the ground? Like yeah. not begging, but like professional salesmanship yeah. matters. Mm -hmm. Dude, thank you so much for being here. What can I get you? And I'm not opposed to like, how about this whole stack? Please give me a sale in the beginning because you want to get it going. And then once you're yeah. going, you don't have to be as desperate. Yeah. Right. In fact, at super high levels of whatnot, you kind of want to act snobby. Like, I don't even want to sell you this no. unless you pay X amount. Yeah. That can only happen though once you have a reputation. Okay. People know you, trust you. Yeah. Um, so before we get conclude this video, do you have any questions for me on what you think? Yeah. So what would you say? Because I know my kind of thoughts are for example how you said you have to beg a little bit yeah but like to me i'm like okay i get what you mean but like this is like gymshark and yeah. like you know like mauve yeah. like nike really good brands so yeah. yeah what do you do in that case the problem is that let's say it's a really cute gymshark piece it's yeah. size six mm -hmm. but there's no size sixes in the chat Mm -hmm. It's hard because they, yeah. they you have a great item, but it doesn't oh, match right. what they're looking yeah. for. So you can be like, please, oh, can you give it to your sister? Can you give it to your <laughs> mom? It's like something to get them to yeah. do something because they don't really want it. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by beg. Okay. If you were to say, we're going to sell some Versace at a dollar, mm -hmm. you'll get bids. Yeah. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to be on camera. I've seen people just put something on there, <laughs> click start, silent. <laughs> they don't even say anything. They let the okay. item speak for yeah. itself. Right, so that's something you can do, it's more advanced. Also, they're really on there because of you. I think people yeah. underestimate the value of your personality. Mm. So I'm not too worried about it. I feel like it's just practice, yeah, just like everything. Sure. You're comfortable in front of the camera or you're not. Over time, you'll become more comfortable. Yeah. And the WhatNot community is relatively friendly. Yeah. I would go into other streams, mm -hmm. talk to people, see what they're up to, ask questions. When are you normally on? What do you like to sell? Okay. Who do you dislike? What's your favorite cereal? Yeah. Start getting that going. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited for you guys at home. Use my invite link uh, for dailyrefinement.com. We'll put it here on the screen. You get like some credit if you sign up through me and I get a hundred bucks and I really appreciate that. It helps the channel continue to go. Hopefully also it gets you approved much faster. So until next time guys, make progress daily.